On the last trading day, we found an unusual trade on Texas Instruments stock, ticker symbol TXN, worth $3.6 million. And so in this video, we will show how we managed our trade based on this new data of unusual option activity. Because if you've been following our channel, you know that we've been trading Texas Instruments since April when it rallied from earnings and we last updated our trade in June about two months ago when we published this video showing how we managed our trade where we made 470 percent profit and we converted it into a zero risk trade so if you missed out on this video we'll put a link at the top here make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our very profitable strategies now as you can see texas instruments hit a new high on the last trading day and so how much more did we make on this trade so let's take a look at the trade in detail when we shared it two months ago you can see here that this was the trade is right over here where we were in a vertical call spread that expires september 20 at the 210 strike calls and the 220 strike calls and so these options will expire in less than one month which is another reason why we manage the trade you can see here the profit of 1892 dollars per trade so we continued to gain more profits on this trade because the stock continued to move higher since our last update two months ago and so 1892 is the profit and if you look back at our initial trade which is not being traded anymore since they've expired on june 21st the cost of this trade was 360 dollars and so we divide by the initial cost of our trade to figure out the profit percentage that we've made so far on this trade and so we multiply by 100 to get a percentage and you can see that so far we've made 525 percent profit and so since our last update at 470 percent profit we've now essentially increased our profit percentage by another 55 percent profit and what's great about this is that this was essentially free money because you can see here we had no risk on this trade if texas instrument had gone down there's no negative because we were in a no loss zero risk trade ever since two months ago when we updated this trade by managing it and so we just continued to gain more profits without risk and that is why risk management is so important to be long-term profitable. So this is some of our strategies that we share with our members, especially our goal level members, where we update them on how we manage our trades to always increase our probability of profits using strategies such as this one here to continue to make more money. So if you are interested in our membership, put a link at the top here, where you can gain access and learn more about the strategies that we use to consistently beat the market. And so how did we manage this trade now based on the most recent data? Well, let's take a look at the data as usual. As we can see here on the options time and sales tape, on the last trading day, these 3,796 contracts were being traded for the June 20 options that expire 2025 at the 250 strike calls. And we can see the price that they paid over here. And so we can do a quick calculation of the total trade cost. 955, we multiply by 100 since each option represents 100 shares of stock. So each of these call options costs $955. And since there was a total number of contracts of 3,796, we multiply that out and we get $3.6 million. 
And so when we take a deeper look at the option chain on these options for the June 20th, 2025, we can see here that at the 250 strike calls, the open interest is now 5,900. And how did we know that these are opening trades? Well, if we take a look at the data before these trades were made on August 28, we can see here that for the June 20, 2025 options, at the 250 strike calls, there were only 938 open interest. So those options have now added to the open interest, which means they opened their trade. And based on our analysis, these options at the 250 strike calls were being bought to open, where they paid 955 for each of these call options. And so when we analyze this trade, you can see that this is clearly a long bullish trade as the share price, which is represented on the X axis, goes up. These call options become more positive, which is more profits. And if it goes down, it becomes more negative loss because this is a long bullish trade. And we can confirm this by taking a look at the Greeks, we have a positive delta trade because if it was a negative delta, then it would be a short bearish trade. And so based on this data, we are staying long bullish on our trade. And what we did was we closed out of our September 20 options and we rolled it to a new strike price and a further date. You can see here, we've closed out of our September 20 options and we've rolled to the next month expiration cycle, October 18th. And so our new strike price, as you can see, have moved up $10. You can see here at the 220 strike calls, POS stands for position, green means buy where we bought these and for the 230 strike calls, we sold these. And so we've moved our strike prices $10 up where we bought the 220 strike calls and we sold the 230 strike calls. And so when we analyze this new updated trade, you can see here that it has a debit of 295, but since our previous trade had a profit that we just closed out simultaneously in a rolling strategy, we need to take into account the profit from that previous trade of 1,892. And so we have a credit of 1,597. And so when we put this into the calculations, this is our new trade. And you can see what we've done is we've now locked in even more profits because if it crashes, we will still keep $1,597 of profits. It can't go below this. It's still a no risk trade because we can still make more profits if the stock continues to move higher. And that is why strategy matters, not just simply following the trades of unusual option activity, but also developing strategies where the risk to reward ratio is always in your favor. And so if you want access to more of our strategies or the stocks that wealthy investors are trading with stronger data to increase your probability of profit, then make sure to go to our website and make sure to watch this video from our last update. We'll put a link over here and this video when we initially got into this trade before this earnings rally. We'll put a link up here where you can learn how we have been trading Texas Instruments to continue to make money with no risk. As usual, please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, take care, and have a wonderful day.